Hi and welcome to Makeup Mug Wump. My name is Leanne. I have a stupid big haul for you. But I love it. And I hope you do too. Hit thumbs up if you like hauls. Let's get into it. I have some Black Friday stuff I already that has arrived. I have some stuff that was way before that. I have some stuff that I ordered because folks started Black Friday sales November 1st. So here we go. We are, we're getting into it. We're doing it. Uh, earrings are gathering well. Milk and cookies for Santa. Love it so much. I have a variety of companies. So sit back, enjoy, and let's do it. Number one, I went to Trader Joe's. It's in a different town that I live in, so it takes, I don't go very often. Um, but I got their whipped body scrub in hot cocoa. Mr. Mogwump smelled it and said it smelled like hot cocoa to him. There's a little, there's something different, but I think you can smell it in store. So do, before you pick it up, I'll try it, like for sure. There's a little, it's that it smells more bakery than just straight up hot cocoa. I'm going to use it though. Let's be honest. I'm, I'll, I'll use it for sure. And the other thing that is stupid good is the candy cane body butter. It's shimmering. It's not got like glitter glitter in it, but it does shimmer. That is so good. Oh my goodness. That is so good. I'm so excited for those two. I also got their beauty advent calendar. I'm going to open that on a different video. So if you want to see that, hit subscribe. That'll come out soon. It's like a 12 days of beauty. They're little things. We'll look at it together. I placed an order on Juvia's place for Black Friday. They had a bunch, I mean, everything was on sale. They also had a bundle that was $135. I have unboxed that bundle as its own video here on my channel. Again, go check it out. Um, but I placed it up in that order. I also ordered two palettes that I knew that I wanted. And so we got them. This is the Topes. It's the little six pan. It has been out forever. Recycling lives over there. It's been out forever and I've just never gotten it. Uh, and I wanted it so bad but it's just never fell into my cart at the right time. It was way on sale. This is beyond the perfect palette for me. A, I'm fair. Some of their six pans are very light. I have the nude. It's peach, beautiful, but it's so light. Um, but it works great for me because I don't have pigmented skin. So it's like putting it on a white canvas. <laughs> so light colors show up really well on me. I have no problem with the pigmentation. It's beautiful. This is stupid beautiful. This is the perfect palette for me. So let's swatch the whole thing because I care. I just want to swatch it with you. And if you have medium to deep skin tone, this is probably not for you friends. It's that light, but it's going to be for me. It's going to be for me. So that first one is more goldy. The second one is the, the actual taupe. This one's more goldy, which I don't think is a taupe in my opinion, but it's a brown palette is what it is. And it's beautiful. See, it's, I'm telling you, you, you won't like this if you have any pigmentation in your skin, any melanin in you. Nope. But if you are, if you pasty friends, if you Casper the friendly, this is for you. 10 out of 10. That is going to be a favorite. I know it is. I mean, come on. Can't, not even a liner shade in the bunch. It's not even dark enough to line with. Man, that's going to be pretty. So I knew I wanted that. It was on sale. Put it in the, in the cart. But this one, if you like neutrals, if you're a neutral girly, this may be the one for you. This one's the coffee shop. This one's a relatively recent, like within the last, I don't know, maybe six, nine months uh, release. The Topes has been out forever. This is the coffee shop. Here's the pigmentation for folks that don't have translucent skin. This is beautiful. So you've got a good amount of mattes, a good amount of shimmers. You've got enough to do everything you want to do, in my opinion. That shade there. <laughs> that's one of those shades that if if there's a shade that's a cool tone brown in a palette, you I, sold. I'm there. I'm there for you. 
How many do I need? Doesn't matter. Still want them. Still love them. This is gorgeous. You are not out of my cold dead hands. The coffee shop, Juvia's Place. Love it. Haven't even used it. Okay. Placed an order at Give Me Glow Cosmetics. They had a sale. I did it. We got the single bronzer in Ocean Drive. We may already have this because we may, but I don't know. But look how perfect she is. Yes, queen. She's perfect. Do I have a palette that's around here that's empty? Ugh. Yes. This is an AOA Pro empty magnetic palette, and she'll go right in there. Ocean Drive. Beautiful. Yes, it's a gigantic pan. No, I'll never use it all. Needed it, and then there were two palettes. Did I say recycling those over there? It does. There were two palettes that I needed from Give Me Glow. One is the Vintage Rose. You can kiss my grits if you don't think that this is the most beautiful thing in the world. There's a mirror. Just prepare yourself. Stop. You can't tell me that that is not a beautiful palette, because it is. I've got a little bit of leakage, <coughs> excuse me, from one of the pans. I expect this from some press pigments. <coughs> excuse me. It doesn't bother me. It's, it's, it's when the pan is a little bit higher and touches the cardboard. I don't care. We'll use her together. I don't know why I'm choking on absolutely nothing. It's my emotion getting of a clamped. The other one I bought, the Christmas Morning Palette. This has been out for a while too. Just never pulled the trigger. Needed it. Just wait. <coughs> Look at it. Stop it. I don't have to say anything else. Give me glow. I don't want to wipe it off. I want to eat it. That is stupid beautiful. That's a duo chromey one. See it? Yeah, you do. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. There's a lot down here. So... So here we go. Are you ready? Probably not. They also had a sale. This is a separate order. And their pans were like two bucks. So we did that damage there. Because I didn't own them already. So I bought them. And the palette. I have used this on my channel, but I haven't hauled it yet. We are closing the end of the year. And I have a feeling that some folks are going to want to put this on their best of 2023 palettes. And I understand why. This is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. I love this palette. I don't have all the Huda's palettes. I have bought a few of them over the years. I have Mercury Retrograde. I have Rose Quartz. This is beautiful. It's absolutely worth it. Love the Pretty Grunge. Love it. This was a palette that I actually didn't pay for, which is why I bought it. This is, um, the Pat McGrath Holiday Whatever Whatever. And it's the one with the blushes and the eyeshadows in it. It is the Mothership Bijou Brilliance Starstruck Splendor Blush and Eyeshadow Palette. This is uh, gorgeous. So it's got little knocked edges, you know. And it's got the ribbons that hold it open. And I got this color. And I'm super stoked. I don't have... Um, I think I have one of her blushes. 
Um, so I was happy to have the blushes and the eyeshadows in one. I know the five pans were probably better quality, but I wanted not only these shades, but also the blushes. I didn't pay for it because my work has like an award point kind of program that folks can give you award points for things and then you can redeem them for gift cards or shop or whatever with them. I redeemed some points for a Sephora gift card and it covered the cost of this item. And so I got it for free from technically uh, the work I do at my job. And so happy to have it. Love it. Think it's gorgeous. Happy to have it. We'll be so excited to use it with you. I haven't purchased a Pat McGrath in a hot minute and I'm happy I have that one. Okay, so we've got, we've got an order from Laura Geller because a couple of things happened. One is she had a good sale. Two is she released a collaboration with Wheel of Fortune. If you don't know me in real life, <laughs> You might actually not even know this if you know me in real life. I have a thing that dates back to my childhood that the opinion that the most beautiful woman in the world is Vanna White. Like, I saw her, my grandmother watched Wheel of Fortune, and I, she was the most beautiful woman in the world to me. She still is incredibly beautiful. And I think she's beautiful. And so, <laughs> I have a thing for Vanna White. <laughs> I do. And so this collection came out. She had done some, the media or whatever for it. And I was like, oh, I will be buying that. So it went on sale-ish. And so I bought the Wheel of Fortune stuff that I wanted, not everything. And also picked up some other stuff. So this is my Laura Geller portion of the haul. Uh, we will be probably doing a full face of Laura Geller. I love doing a full face of Laura Geller because she has such unique products sometimes that go really well together, but also I think that are marketed towards more mature um, folks and more mature skin. I am in my mid 40s, very mid. And so I am prime candidate for using something for more mature skin. And I love, I love the products. So let me show you what I got. And then I'm going to geek out over my Wheel of Fortune stuff, which I haven't used any of this stuff yet. So I'm super sad. One of the things that I got that's not Wheel of Fortune based is the, the Cheek to Chic Tropical Glow Face Palette. And it's one of these kind of all-in-one really bulky things. I need to get the plastic out. So pray for me while I do that. Oh, glory. How do we... Ooh. She's in there. The... Oh gosh, listen now. Let's get a tweezer or something to pry it out with. Because we don't like this. Okay, there we go. Okay, it was on there, but it wasn't like stuck. I just was having a moment. Okay, so these are baked products. So they are kind of, not kind of, they are raised in that way. It's got a mirror. We have two bronzers, two highlighters, two blushes. So here are your bronzers, here are your blushes, and here are your highlighters. This is the French Vanilla Highlighter. It I have probably two other ones like, or something with it in it. It's a beautiful highlighter. It looks matte. There's a sheen to it, um, but it's just not marbled. It's just this beautiful shade. Um, it looks like it, this one is called Dolce de Leche. Oh, baby. That one's something else. Oh, my goodness. That one's very peachy. Wow, that's pretty. Uh, we've got two blushes, Tropic Hues and Honeysuckle. I might actually own Honeysuckle in another one too. That sounds familiar. There's the two blushes. Ooh, that one's pretty. Okay. And then we've got Tahitian Glow and Honey Dipped for the bronzers. Where's my little wipey to do? There it is. Hello. And those, I love her bronzers. I love her powders in general. Her baked products are everything. This is Tahitian Glow. This is Honey Dipped. Wow. Tahitian Glow Honey Dipped. 
cheek to chic and there it's a it's a you know it's not super slim but it'll work um it's beautiful and then the french vanilla one which is just a cream color with with shimmer mm -mm, with sheen not shimmer so no chunks in that one at all i mean not that she has that glitter particles or whatever but definitely not in the french vanilla okay i got a new foundation because I am a huge fan of her base products anyway. I got the Double Take Liquid Foundation. It says it's medium buildable coverage. I got it in the shade Porcelain. So frosted glass with a doe foot. Love that. Cannot wait to try that. Look for a full face of Laura Geller coming up on my channel where I try all these things out because I'm super stoked to try that. Got a new spackle. This is the Skin Perfect and Primer Original in Ethereal Rose Glow. I love a glowy base to my face before I put on foundation. So sometimes I use liquid highlighters. Sometimes I use primers that have glow. I've used her spackle products in the past. It's a pump with a with a squeezy tube, so we're we're getting there. Hold please. It is ooh, Ethereal Rose Glow. They had several shades. Yep. Pinky Shimmery. We'll love that. Love that. It's beautiful. And a big old tub. It's uh, 59 mils. That's pretty good. Usually primers come in 30 mils. So that's nice. I got a mascara. Uh, this is called the Always There Lengthening Waterproof. I love a waterproof mascara. I'm going to show it to you because I'm not going to actually open the tube, but it's like a regular bristle brush. It's, it, I know it's a blue tube, but it's a black mascara made in Italy. So there she is. We'll have a good time with her when we get to that point. And one more thing before we get to the Wheel of Fortune. This is the Blend Away. Rosy and Rustic Eyeshadow Palette. It is well protected. Okay. This is gorgeous. It has two shimmers in it, and the rest are matte or maybe has some sheen. Not sure yet. Gotta touch them. These are gorgeous for an everyday eyeshadow palette. This is... They had several versions of this type of 8-pan palette. I got the rosy one because that's me. Um, this is made in China, so this is not one of the Italian kind of baked things. But let's just, let's swatch her because this is a right up my alley type of color story. Oh, that's pretty. Real light. So real fair friendly, not so far. Not deep friendly. Seems to be kind of two, the two rows are two looks really. You can mix and match and do what you want, makeup, nobody cares. But this one's a little bit more rosy than that one, but that's it. See how the shine is beautiful, but the only two shimmers, the rest are mattes, so. Creamy, creamy mattes though, real pretty, but very light. That one is super light. But I like it. I'll use that happily. Mr. Malgwant was going to cuss me out this week for recycling. What can I do, man? All right, so I have three products from the Wheel of Fortune collab. I did get the brush because I really thought that I would like it. And... I was right. I do. It's <laughs> it's a dual ended brush. So there is an angled cheek brush and then a floopity floppity blending brush there. They call this the dual ended blush eyeshadow precision brush. Okay. And then I got the face the wheel blush palette. I wish this outside 
look like that. That's my one thing. But it made it better. Look at the inside. <laughs> these are nothing. So these are stickers. So they're, they're, there's no pigment there. So five blush shades. Two more, two more rosy, um, and then three kind of peachy. This was more like just a neutral. I'm very sad. I'm really disappointed with the outer packaging on this. They had an opportunity there and they didn't go for it. And I wish they had because I would have been much happier with something, right? Like just, and I don't normally complain about packaging because it doesn't really matter in the, in the grand scheme of things. But some things that I buy for the nostalgia or for the purpose of, and this one I was sad on, but I'm not sad about the eyeshadow palette. So this is the packaging for the eyeshadow palette. This is the prize winning eyes shadow palette. There's only one, um, but look at the packaging on this one. This is way better, Laura. This is so good. And I can't with how cute, there's a mirror, but look. It spells out Laura Geller. <laughs> Stop. If that ain't the cutest thing you have ever seen, that is so cute. That is, you might not geek out about Wheel of Fortune eyeshadow palettes. And if you don't, <clears throat> that's all right, boo. It takes all kinds to make this world go round. If you do though, if you don't hit subscribe, I don't know what you're doing with your time here on YouTube. This is literally me in a palette. Not the shades necessarily. It's a beautiful neutral palette. I'm gonna love it and use it and it's beautiful. It's not that it's the shades. It's the geekiness of the <laughs> and the execution of it. Stop it. So cute. Um, Love it so much. I will, I'll swatch it when we do our look with it. My gosh, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, I love that so much. I'm not done with my haul, but I'm done with my Laura Geller purchase. Per purchase. If you are um, here just for that, thanks for watching. If you love makeup, stay tuned. Here I go in more stuff than I got <sighs> because I can't help myself. Okay, um, some stuff I've already used. So welcome to... I can't help myself and I'm not waiting to haul it. I'm just gonna do it. One is the Glowish bronzer that came, um, it's in tan light. This is the Soft Radiance Bronzing Powder. It's by Huda and it's a cute little baby thing. It opens like this. So this is the part that comes open. It's beautiful. I did a get ready with me with new makeup and this was one of the items I used and it was beautiful. It's gorgeous. Love it so much. Another item I used in that video is the new Revlon Serum Tint. This one, whoa, is, um, I got it in the shade Ivory Beige. It has uh, SPF 15, which is not enough to do anything for you, but you know, it's better than nothing but please put on your SPF. It's got ginger root extract, vitamin C and vitamin E with triple hyaluronic acid in it as well. It is illuminating and it is a skin tint, not necessarily a foundation. I'll use it as a foundation. It was really pretty. Uh, I can't remember how it wore, so I'll have to use it again and try, you know, and try to remember to do that. Another product I got and used is that is the Revlon Skin Lights Face Glow Illuminator. This is in the shade 300 Sunrise Luster. This is too dark for me to use under something super sheer. I can use it under a full coverage foundation. Uh, it'll be fine. I use, again, highlighters as primers. This is kind of a primer anyway, um, but it's just, it's too dark. 300 is too dark for me, but it was, it's a nice product. I just should have gotten a different shade. Also picked up a new shade of the Essence Pure Nude Baked Blushes. This one is in the shade Pink Flush. I think I have almost all of them now. This is probably my blush of the year. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. Hate the packaging. Love the product. Onward. Okay, I also got the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Radiant Loose Bronzer. Haven't tried it yet. This is in the shade 001 Sunkissed. 
This is because of Jen Phelps. We'll try it. Who knows? I purchased, oh, this is a sample. Rare Beauty Blush and Glows. Gabrielle Chanel. Okay. Go away. This is the blush that I got from the Pat McGrath Little Baby Blushes off of, Sof nope, Ulta. Here she is. This is in the shade Divine Rose. She's a baby. And gorgeous. I will happily use that. Terrible packaging. Terrible light, not cute in any way, shape, or form packaging. But not terrible light, it's broken. I got uh, a bunch of other stuff. <laughs> I picked up another Milani uh, Too Big Mascara. This is their Milani Highly Rated Lash Extensions. It's a dupe for the Thrive Cosmetics one. It really is a dupe for it. It really is great. I've used one up. Um, so I got another one to go in my mascara drawer when I'm feeling lonely and sad on a day. And I want to use that. That's what I'll use. A uh, sample, which I've already tried, <laughs> of the Tom Ford Sol uh, Ode Salil Blanc. It's not bad. It's kind of summery, though. And it's winter, so there's that. Um, Lori B. Uh, I think I used Point Perk, maybe? For the Versace Dylan Turquoise. I love the Dylan Purple so much. And I love Baby perfumes. They sit over here. You don't know where they are, but they sit over here in a little row and I love them. So when Sephora has one of those for like 100 or 250 or whatever, I get one. Okay. Um, oh, here's another one. It's Prada Candy Baby. I, I don't, I'm surprised I didn't have Prada Candy Baby, but um, I didn't. So there's Prada Candy Baby. This haul is like a month overdue. It's, it's, I didn't get all this stuff in a day, just so that you know that I'm not that insane. I mean, I am, but I'm not. Okay. Ulta also is now selling Lush. In case you didn't know. This was in a kit with a scalp hair oil and like a conditioning mask for curly hair and a super milk um, conditioning hair primer that you spray up in your hair and it smells like oatmeal cookies, maybe. I mean, deliciousness for like a week. So yeah, Ulta selling some Lush stuff. I also got a bath bomb and the Sleepy Bath Gel, Shower Gel. Love that so much. I'm like a Lush person, but I don't order it very often ever because it's incredibly expensive. But I, I love all bath things like bath salts, bath bombs, bubble bars, like all of it. Like I take at least one bath a day, maybe two. Um, it's a thing. And so I love them so much, but man, they're spendy. Uh, oh, I guess I have a shop mistake order too. I got a liquid eyeliner. They're magic, magical girl. I hadn't tried it yet. They're a little magical girl lip gloss with glitters in it. And then, oh, this is the lip stain. I did try lip stain. It's really pretty. Um, this is in the shade Shion. It was really pretty. It lasted till lunch. The stain did. Gorgeous. Okay. Uh, back to Ulta question mark? Sephora? I can't remember. Uh, I did get the Persona Identity Palette. You may be shocked that I don't own this because I own every other palette in the flipping world. But I never have purchased it and I think it was on sale. So this is the Persona Identity. It is a gorgeous neutral girl girly beautiful thing. It's on everybody's top whatever all the time because of how beautiful it is and I get it. It's not earth shattering but it is gorgeous and if you are a neutral girly, I am one, uh, that this is just beautiful. So I will be happy to try that and use that because I never have. I'm so excited for that one. Also, she got her because the Makeup by Mario palette came back in 
um, after it had previously sold out, like what, earlier this year or last year? I can't remember which. This is the Ethereal Eyes. Apparently it's very difficult to get. I haven't even opened it yet. It's been sitting on my floor for like a month and I'm surprised I haven't broken into it yet. Ooh, okay. So, Ethereal Eyes. All right. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Again, neutral girly. What are we doing? Apparently it's the bee's knees. I will use it. Ooh, it's magnetic. I like that. Okay. Uh, placed in... Oh, wait. One more shot. My same thing. Apparently a lipstick. In the shade Folly. This is their Venetian Romance lipstick. They have had Venetian Romance um, items. I have their blushes, I think. Their cream blushes that are so nice. Ooh. Does it... Oh, it, it screws on. How interesting. Haven't had a lipstick do that in a, ever, maybe. Ooh, look at that. I picked a nice shade. That's the shade Folly. Look at that. Huh. Screw that back on. Cool. We'll try her out. I placed an order with Fantasy Cosmetica. I own the Rogue palette. And they had a deal where they... I can't even get out of this room now where they are, um, they had like a bundle. And so I bundled the palettes that I was dying for. I don't own them all, but okay, let me show you the robe. This one we've had before and it is everything you would think it would be. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's, this is one of my favorite formulas on the planet. It is so gorgeous. I keep it on my vanity because I love it so much. Also, side note, side quest note is that uh the the fact that these are um like fantasy classes of characters makes me happy i met my husband playing world of warcraft and so um one of these is very dear near and dear to my heart because i played this class of character anyway so had the Rogue palette, knew I was going to love it, just was waiting for a sale, and I got the following palettes. Got a Druid palette. You cannot tell me that's not the most beautiful palette you've ever seen in a room. Yeah! Got the Fighter palette. It makes me want to hit things, it's so pretty. And then I got this palette, not only because it is absolutely stunningly beautiful, but this is the class that I played. I was a warlock. You just look at it. I want this on my eyes right now. It's just, it's beyond beautiful. I swatched some of them because I couldn't help myself because they're gorgeous. Beautiful. All right, last order that I placed. I'm so proud of myself for getting through this haul because it's, I can't even tell you, the stack of palettes I have. It's just, I gotta clean this room, the whole thing. I can't wait to use all these things though. Okay, I saw, no, I had a TikTok sent to me by someone and I blamed them for this purchase because immediately I went to the site and I purchased. Immediately. This is an independent makeup brand out of Puerto Rico. They hand pour stuff. It is the most gorgeous thing I've ever seen. It's called Necromancy Cosmetica. I got a palette and three lipsticks. And I have the colors for all of their lipsticks that I want to show you because the lipsticks that I bought are very me but they have other colors that are just unique and beautiful so I want to show you those too. So uh the palette that I bought is called Swamp of Sorrows. If you've ever played World of Warcraft it's actually a place on World of Warcraft that you go uh and I love it so much. Swamp of Sorrows. Okay it's very unique this palette. So it's in a little case like a little book. Okay and you open her up there's a little mirror and you you open her up. Hold on, let me go right. So on one side of the palette, hold on, is the artwork that is just 
the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. And then there's the palette. It's beautiful, y'all. It's so beautiful. It is so beautiful. I cannot wait to use it. I cannot wait to use it. And the little mirror is just magnetic and it goes on it. And then you can slide it. It's like a little case. So unique. So beautiful. It's really cool how small that is. But also, how cool is that? <sighs> so cool. Now, lipsticks. I got three. They are in the shades that make my heart pit a patter. And <clears throat> the packaging on these <clears throat> is like nothing I've ever seen. It's a cardboard. So very lightweight. They're matte lipsticks. They have 32 colors. I mean, it's just beautiful. <clears throat> I don't know why I'm coughing. You stop it. <coughs> Excuse me. This is in the shade Lestrange. I will swatch these next to each other so that you can see the difference in tone because they are very similar because I am who I am. <clears throat> next up is Divine Flesh. Again, these are hand poured in Puerto Rico by human beings. Stop it. Baby, I've got a type. The last one is Paper Flowers. She doesn't want to come out of her home. I can't get her out. Oh, that was me. I can't get it out. It won't come up. I might have Mr. Mug won't come look at the packaging, but the shade is more mauve. And let me show you the like the chart that came with it of the 32 shades. See how they've got like very unique shades. They've got such pretty shades. It's beautiful. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Like just very unique. Um, you can pick up locally in Puerto Rico. Like they have a they have an actual storefront, which amazing. But I am going to absolutely place another order. Um, I will I will attempt really to get Mr. Mom to look and see if there's something that he can do about my packaging on this one. And if he can't, then I will contact the company. But it's gorgeous. These are gorgeous. The it's just so pretty. Um I know that it takes a while for them to ship uh, because, again, they are handmade, but also they have found some success recently. And so they're, they are, um, you know, hustling to, to fill the orders. Um, and so just be patient if you do order from them, like with any independent brand. Um, these are human beings that are running their company and making these products for us. And so it's um, a little bit of a labor of love for them and it takes longer as a consumer to receive these products so just be patient and you will be vastly rewarded with amazing products that you cannot find anywhere else and they are gorgeous you're helping to support a family and you have amazing products to use thank you so much for hanging out with me while I hauled all the stuff and uh I am so excited to use this stuff. If you are excited, give me a thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.